Tropical storms are known to hit Guam any time of year. The next terrorist attack could happen any time. Mayday, 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 mayday. Position, wait to see the breeze. Turned into an apparent attack on two oil tankers. Yeah, they say the attack killed at least 52 people and wounded. We're going down shortly. And so several of us got together and said it's about time we establish a center where leaders, military, diplomatic, and others can get together, sit around, chat, yes, argue, and discuss matters of common interest, common concerns, and come up with solutions. and come up with mutual understanding. Senator Inouye's vision of creating a space where people can come together to prevent the next war, to bring people together, to build those bridges, whether it is terrorism, whether it is uh, foreign malign influence, it's a very special place to work and it's a privilege. It's a great place of gathering, learning, so that we can bring together security practitioners, both military and civilian, to come to this center to be able to discuss challenging issues, which, if resolved, if addressed, can lead to a creation of a better security here in this region, and ideally globally. We have a very strict policy of non-attribution here, very similar to the Chatham House rules. We don't ever want people to feel that if they share too much information that they're, they're exposing a weakness in their organization or in their country, because that's not what it's about. It's about sharing best practices and sharing ideas. Aloha, everybody. Aloha. It's a really mixed bag of professionals that come together, very passionate, very passionate about the region. They act as moderators. They act as people that can fill the fundamental baselines on how do you use critical thinking tools? How do you go through a negotiation skills? And ensures that we hear from everyone. In order to do adult learning, the best way to do it is to take the experience of folks that are actually living it and then come together and talk about it. Sometimes it's real easy to just see the mass of humanity and forget about the individuality of people. To gather together in the halls here, to be able to sit down, look at people, recognize various perspectives and insights that they have, to listen, to consider. It's very interesting to watch when they arrive and they wonder why they're here. And after, I think, the second week, they start to realize it isn't about us, it's about them. It's about them coming together, them building the networks, in addition to the knowledge and the experiences they have while they're here. It is notable that diversity comes before almost everything. Uh, in terms of the people who come to DKI APCSS from all over the region, all walks of life, not just military, also foreign affairs, diplomats, aid workers, uh, and the common denominator is developing responses to transnational security threats and 21st century challenges that we have not faced before. It's about building international relations, it's about building trust, it's about globalization, their problems whether it's an earthquake on the other side of the world or, or a natural disaster in the Pacific, immediately become our problems. Our community is coming together and working together as one. Is there a unity of effort? It's the magic of APCSS's process. It's leadership development and teaming that builds long-lasting relationships and a common sense of purpose. And these last a lifetime. And when people leave APCSS with a golden lanyard, they become part of something larger, this big community that we've created. This regional center 
is really in a unique position to be able to work with our allies and partners to really get to the heart of the matter. I find that the more we come together to understand each other's differences, the more we find that there are many ways that we can work together.